All right, you guys, it is the next day. <laughs> I was way too tired uh, to film a thrift haul when I got back. I had five dogs to feed. I had a backyard to clean up and water. So, and then I needed to sleep and eat all the things. <laughs> Regardless, anyways, I have a huge ass thrift haul for you. Um, I ended up spending $505 even because I rounded up for Goodwill. Um, and I got 104 items. So it's a little under five bucks an item. It's like $4.85 an item. I'm waving at my friends because uh, we are doing a, uh, a FaceTime. This is what we always do because it's always fun to do a thrift haul with a live audience. Um, Chelsea Sunshine and Amber from Renewing Amber. I'll have them link in the description. Woo, woo. So you guys will see them on camera, but they're right here where my sorting bins are. Um, and uh, yeah, we just always do this because it's fun. If you're a reseller, if you're a thrifter, you know what I mean. So it's just fun to share off all your goods with your friends. So um, I think it was like $4.85 per item, um, which some of the items I'm like, well, would I have paid that for? No, but then when you see all the bangers that I found, and I'm telling you, I couldn't stop. I should have left like an hour and a half um, before I actually left, but I couldn't stop because I'm like, okay, well, I found a lot of stuff, but let me just check the pants really quick. And I always start in like the large or the extra large. And then I start finding these bangers. I'm like, shoot, maybe I should go to the small and the medium. Dang it. I don't need these, but I'm going to get them because they're too good. So, all right. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's get started with this thrift haul in no particular order, because as you can see, you guys can't see it on, on, uh, on, uh, the, I, you might be able to see it. Can you see all these bags down here? No, this is just my, I saw your Two cards, two cards. Bum, 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 bum. Hold on, let me turn up the uh, volume. I don't know how if they're going to be able to hear you, but okay. Let's get started. The dogs are sleeping, so hopefully they stay asleep. Um, okay, let's get started. First up, we have some free people movement sweatpants, little joggers. They're just black. Free people movement. I figured I could probably get like. Um, I could probably just throw them in my $18 uh, premium afterwear show just to get a quick flip on them. Um, they are cute. What size are they? They are. Let's see. They're small. Don't let me know. Oh, they're medium. Okay. They're medium. So um, I am going to sort by how am I how am I going to do this? I'm going to have my um, probably my like my $18 buy it now show, and then I'm going to have my premium buy it now show. 32 and then I'll have my need to list show. So that's how I'm sorting these. Um, you guys have to be proud of me because I'm not doing the $3 shows anymore. I was going through the racks and I'm like, I probably would have picked that up for a $3 show, but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm leveling up my game when it comes to live shows and so far it's been paying off. <laughs> okay, next up, oh, this was a good one. I think I got this on, um, uh, on my phone for like a reel or something. We got some Dolan Anthropology. Dolan Anthro. This is a like a little knit. Um, what is this? Is this a cardigan? I think I sold that same jacket before, Brittany. Did you really? I got it. Um, I can find the they had a price for six forty nine, and it was the full price sale. So I went ahead and picked it up because that's worth it. Usually Anthro, I can uh, usually over thirty. So I'm gonna put this in my my thirty two dollar premium show, um, and then whatever ends up not getting sold in that. Um, I, uh, I end up listing it. So, um, and then I forgot to mention too, blue tag was the dollar 79 day. So I like going on those days because it evens out the really, the stuff that I'm paying up for. So, um, this is a piece from, uh, um, intro. This is a boutique brand that really does well for me in my shows for whatever reason. It's a size medium. It's a red Swiss dot. I did pick up a lot of fall and winter. Um, it's a size medium. I think I have a few customers in particular that, um, might like this piece. It has a cute little bell sleeve. That one's going to go in my $18 show. And that one was the, the blue tag. I'm, I'm probably not going to remember to say all the, all the prices on everything, but four, four eighty five I think was the average for everything. Okay. This was just adorable. Look at how cute this is. Um, Deadwood, South Dakota. I was going to try it on because you guys know me and my graphic little pullovers, Deadwood, South Dakota, but I also have a lot of people asking for um, graphics and hoodies. They're like, will you ever sell them? I'm like, no, they usually go to me first, but um, 
um, I might I might consider uh, doing that for something if it doesn't work for me. So for now, I'm putting it in the 32 because I think I'm going to try it on. Okay, next up, another uh, full price, $6.49 is what they asked for, and I thought it was pretty fair. I know, your thing keeps following you. <laughs> this is Urban Outfitters. Um, I know we're, it's still like July, it's pretty hot, but this is a cute little crop. You're on mute, Amber. I love that. Isn't it cute? cute. I love it. A little cropped. This one is a small. It is a small. Yeah, I keep forgetting to say the size, but anyways, it's adorable. Urban Outfitters, very on trend. The color, like pastels. Um, the thirty-two dollar one. Oh, so cute. And it's cute. And then if it doesn't, if nobody snags it really quick, um, then I will get it listed and probably expect very similarly. Um, okay. Next up, a blue tag. This is um, extra large. It's just, this is not exciting. It's just DSG. This is like a bread and butter size extra large. It's just Dick's Sporting Goods, but I do activewear shows and I can't hold on to extra large to save my life. This is a cute color. It's very trendy. So that will end up going in my activewear show. Activewear. Um, okay, next up we have Universal Thread Extra Small. I actually just got this for me. <laughs> This would actually be kind of cute with my uh, uh, my pants. I forgot. I'm like, why did I pick this up? Oh, yeah, that was for me. So I'm going to set that one aside because that would only sell for like seven bucks anyway. Okay. All right, Chelsea. We got some chambray. Actually, this was in the women's section, but it's men's. <laughs> You're still on mute. You guys don't have to stay on mute. Um, h and M size medium it is a men's, which I think is cute. It could definitely could be like a... Right? I like gender neutral stuff too. I mean, it is tagged as a. so cute with what you're wearing, Britt. I know. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Roll up sleeves, and it's a Little rolled up sleeves. So um, I figured this would probably go in my $18 show. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a men's show or if I'm going to um, just mix it in. Amber says I mix it in. You're on mute. You can, you can say on. <laughs> Mix it. Okay. Absolutely. This is something I, it might be a new to me brand or it's a newer tag from Grace and Threads. I'm not sure. I did like quick, um, quick, uh, what you call it? Like a Google search on it. And there's some of these flannels selling for like $60. So I'm not sure if this is a remake, like if this is the new tag for Grace and Threads, but, um, or if it's just a different brand in and of itself. So if you guys know, leave it in the comments below, but we're coming up on flannel season and, uh, it has vanity sizing, so it says it's a size five, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like an extra large. But we're coming up on flannel season, and uh, I thought it was cute. But there were some flannels just like this tag. Amber, have you seen this brand yet? I know you stepped away for just a second. Oops, Grayson, just Grayson. Yeah, yeah, so Grayson is a good brand. I sold, let me go into my really quick. I saw comps for like 60 bucks when I was in the store. I was like, oh shoot, it's a nice looking tag. Um, that'll probably go on my $32. Okay, so I sold a dress by them. I had it listed at $50. It sold for $35. Okay. So for that flannel, you could probably list it at probably like $45. Yeah. Sell it for like $30. So maybe put it in your $32 and see if it sells. And then if not... Yeah, I mean, I did, yeah, I'm going to do it for my 32, but I did see comps, like recent comps of flannels, like flannels similar to that one. It has a specific style name and it was like $50, $60 on the comps. So, um, this is loft. This is just a little plaid dress. It's actually a full button front shirt dress and it has like a little, um, it's kind of hard to see, but it does have like a little flirty skirt here at the bottom. But as you guys can see, uh, I was picking up all the fall stuff because nobody's picking it up in Goodwill. And I'm like, this is too good. Um, $5 and 49 cents is what they wanted for it, but it was too cute. I am actually going to put that in my $32 show because we are coming up on fall really quick and it's going to be very trendy. Um, okay. Next up is a Rachel Zoe. This is another brand that does really well in my show size medium. And this was just a cute little like pink, uh, like oh, yeah, floral paisley and it cute. Um, so I figured, I don't know, I, some Rachel Zoe stuff does well. If it was new tags, we'd probably do 32, but I'm just gonna put it in the, uh, 18, $18 spots. 
Okay, this is a, um, oh, I meant to look this one up, um, but it was blue tag anyway. So uh, $1.79, I actually, I don't know what this is, but I liked the piece. It was a substantial piece. The Basics by CNA Medium. Do you guys know, recognize that tag? I meant to look it up, but I didn't. Regardless, it is um, just like a, like, a, like a green heathered fleece full zip. So a good piece for um, fall and winter coming up. So 18 on that. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, I forgot. I found Cabby. Cabby. And this is a definitely a little bit more of like a spring summer piece. So hopefully this will sell pretty quick. Um, $1.79 on a new tag Cabby. That is so cute. What size is this one's a medium. I tried to focus. So like when I was going through the wraps, I start in like the large and I go through the extra large and plus, and then I'll go back to like medium and maybe look in the small, but I usually just try to focus on like those bigger. That's a good strategy. Yeah. I feel like with a lot of liquidation, you do end up with a lot of small stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got to counter it. So this was really, I haven't been in a few weeks and they completely like redid it. And I think they like finally like pushed out a bunch of stuff that they were hoarding or like they just have gotten a lot of great donations because college kids left for the summer and they're finally like sorting through it and putting it out. But I found some good stuff. You guys just wait. A lot of this is just bread and butter. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. It was $1.79. Just another cute little summery piece. Beach, um, Beach Lunch Lounge does really well and live shows, I think for all of us, right? Beach Lunch Lounge as what well. What type of show are you gonna put the Beach Lunch Lounge in? Um, I'll probably start it in like my incoming like $18 start and then um, I would expect, I mean, if I were to list it, I would expect like 15 to 20 for it. So if, if that doesn't sell initially, then it'll probably get marked down a little bit. And then um, once a month I do like a $3 blowout show. Um, so whatever kind of doesn't sell and it's still kind of seasonal, I'll just do it in a $3. <laughs> I say $3, but it's a name your price show. Uh, $3 is the lowest that Poshmark allows. So um, three bucks starts and then everybody just names their price on the items that I run. So I do that once a month to clear stuff out. Um, okay, next up, some theory. This is a new tag theory. Um, I don't really pick up old tag theory, but new tag, I will. Um, and this is a maroon sweater. That looks like it. Is this men's? Um, I don't know. It might be. Oh shoot, I gotta return this one. It has a hole that I completely missed. I swore I checked this over, but that's okay. So with my Goodwill, thankfully you can do returns. Seven days you can get it back like on your card or um, up to 90 days you can just get it for store credit. So either way. Wow, 90 days, Brittany, you can like run the show. <laughs> I know, I could run the show. Well, <laughs> run the show. Yeah. I mean, I always, like, I'm always shopping, so if I get store credit, it's fine. Yeah. Um, not a reseller problem. Not a reseller problem at all, yeah. Uh, next up, this is a $1.79 active wear. Um, this is just another good bread and butter to have. Fabletic size small for $1.79. They are cropped. Um, I'll put them in my active wear show, but I also might try those on because I love active wear personally. Um, okay, this one was adorable. I debated on picking this up because... It was a little bit pricey in my opinion, but I just kept thinking about it, thinking about how trendy it is and how cute. And if I kept thinking about it, I know somebody else probably would, um, but this is from Altered State. It was full price for $7.49. Um, Altered State. Altered State is so expensive new. Have you been in the store recently, Brian? No, I haven't. I was so cute. Shook. Really? Have they gone up in prices? I was, yeah, retail, retail sticker shock is a real thing. Yikes, it really is. The only stuff I buy retail anymore is like underwear and socks. <laughs> or undergarments, yeah. So um, anyways, I'll put that in my $32 show because we are coming, people are starting to buy sweaters, but since I'm doing like buy it now speed shopping style, um, people are, I guess, buying all seasons all the time, so. All right, next up we have a another like staple to have in my activewear show. Um, just some old navy power soft um, high rise leggings, size large. I just need as many larges as I can. These have like a zipper pocket, so that'll go on my eighteen dollar activewear show. Um, okay, these were cute. I love going in the jean section. If you guys don't go to the jean or pants section, you can find some gems. 
Um, not that this is the gym. We're about to. Sh I'm about to show you some gyms. <laughs> this is just a good staple. Can we just talk about the jeans section and give a spoiler for an upcoming video real quick? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear you. That was my first time too. Um, well. I know. Um, that video will probably go out after. I'll probably do this. Uh, thrift thing will probably be out. Will be out before this in the thrift haul, and then we'll do our. We did a thrift challenge, so um, I found some good stuff. But yeah, jeans. Jeans are where it's at. Um, so these are. I picked these up based on style. These are just A and A. They're they're high rise straight legs. So I'm trying to stay away from skinnies unless it's like an awesome brand. Um, but high rise straights. They're size ten. Tens do very well for me. They were $1.79 um, and they're brown. I had a lot of requests for brown jeans last fall and winter. So um, I'm thinking these will do well. I will probably just put them in. I think I'm going to eventually do a, um, I don't know. I might eventually do like a denim uh, show, but I would uh, put those in my $18. I'm going to have like $18, probably a few different themes, but I, I don't know. They might just go in my mix. Amber thinks I should just keep it activewear, mix, and then your premium. <laughs> I like doing themes, though. Okay, next up, we got Can Cans for $1.79. These are so freaking fun. They are a black, like, vegan leather flare. Look at these freaking legs. They are... So fun. Can cans do very well too. And these are a great size. So can cans um, do well. I mean, they're kind of like bread and butter at this point, but this is a little bit more um, substantial. Um, size 8 or 29. Um, I might put these in my $32 show. If not, I'm definitely going to list those because I would expect at least, uh, at least 30 on those is what I would want. So very bare minimum, like accepted offer just because they are like that black it's coming up on the right season for them. Okay, next up we have, oh, these are just a bread and butter for a show um, based on size. These are the time and true, just high rise curvy. I pick up a lot of curvies, even if they're like a, um, um, more of like that slim skinny leg. These are like new without tag condition. I actually got two pairs of these and they're size 12 or 31 inch waist. So those are kind of like, um, kind of like bread and butter for my shows. Um, time and true. I know this might be, I mean, I think we're, more people are starting to talk about the kind of brands that you can sell on live shows, but Time and True does well for all of us. Like me, Chelsea, Amber, and then two of our other girlfriends, Macy and uh, Britton. It always does well for all of us. People love it. I second that. Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd be selling Time and True, but here I am doing it. They got some good stuff. Like some of their stuff is like... Who would have thought? Tencel. Tencel's super soft, too. Um, all right, we got some Revolve. I got super down, size small, for $1.79. I can't believe it waited that long for somebody to find it. Um, but this is like a super duper oversized green flannel Revolve. I would expect that. Uh, that will go in my $32 show. A lot of my Revolve brands will go in my $32 shows like they have in the past. And then these were just a kind of like a bread and butter pickup because they were $1.79. I just liked them based on the style. Um, $1.79, these are band, what are these? No, these are Gypsies and Moon Dust. Gypsies and Moon Dust, and they're just a cute little blue, pink, floral pair of just like kind of not super flowy like these, but people like this in uh, live shows. So those are a cute little style based pickup. All right, let's see what else we get. What we get, what we got. I already got it, so. Mm -mm -mm. I try to go through my hauls pretty quickly too, so that way if I do find flaws that I missed initially, so I can return it. Okay, this is another fall, winter kind of staple. Actually, this brand is surprisingly doing very well lately, even with listing, um, but this is just a cold water creek, size large or size 14. I did get it for a blue tag. And this is a, you guys already know what that looks like. I do need to pull through a few little threads, but it is like a black, white, a little bit more of an open knit and metallic cardigan. Great size. Um, I think I'm going to end up going 
Oh, this, yeah, that was the one that I have to pull through, but I think I'm gonna end up going over on my, uh, my bins are not big enough. I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my overflow over there and then whatever I list, whatever I need to list, I think I'm just gonna put over here. Okay, cool. Figured it out. <laughs> ever. Did she, did you ever message? What are your bins, like one centimeter long? How did you already fill them? Oh, look, here, I'll show you. <laughs> one centimeter, hold on. They're just like my, my totes. Yeah, I, uh, I only have so okay. many totes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next up we have, okay, this is $1.79. This is a uh, BKE buckle, um, which uh, definitely has a high retail price and it has a pretty good resale, um, resale price as well. I mean, it doesn't go for like crazy money on the re, uh, resale market, but it is pretty substantial. Um, I will probably put that in an $18 show. As you can see, I picked up a lot of fall. <laughs> Um, oh, this one's so fun. I did pay full price for this just because I really liked it. It was $6.49, but it's a loft. Look at how freaking cute that is. It is. Okay, I love the fringe. Isn't it fun? The fringe with the pink and the blue. I. Loft is another brand that does fantastic in shows. It does. It does. I know it's a mall brand, but if you have like a piece that's just like very unique or fun and it definitely caters to a lot of trends. Then um, I think, what is Kay, uh, Kayleen like? She does, um, what does she say? Factor stacking. Um, anyway, stuff like that um, does well, at least in shows for me. Um, so I will end up putting that in my $32 show. Um, next up, cloth and stone size large. This is just a solid white. I have a few buyers that are kind of looking for this kind of style, a little bit more slouchy. Beachy, but I mean, white is a capsule wardrobe piece for sure. So, Cloth and Stone used to be sold at Anthro, right? But now they just sell on their own website. I think they, they still have some pieces that sell at Anthro, but it usually says for anthropology on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one, I don't know. I, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but uh, it still does well for me in live shows. All right, this is another just a uh, bread and butter piece for fall shows. Um, it was $1.79. Just simply Vera Vera Wang, size large. It's kind of like a color block. And then it has this weird like step, step hem here at the bottom. And it was acrylic nylon and other fibers. But that one would probably go in my $18 show and sell for that. Next up, Abercrombie & Fitch, $1.79. This is a newer tag soft A and F collection. A and F collection. This is just A. Just a solid like green. This is very fall winter color, but flannels, I mean, you guys know, flannels do amazing. I'll put that in an $18 show. Another $1.79, this was just universal thread. Another, um, believe it or not, Target does very well in live shows as well. Um, I, think, I think for a lot of us, if it's on trend, some universal thread pieces can easily go for, you know, 15 to $20, so. This one is a fun like mustard yellow and white. Um, it's a good like transitional fall piece too. So I'll put that in my $18. Buy it now, baby. Okay, another good based on brand. And believe it or not, Old Navy does very well in shows too, especially new tag. Old Navy, these are 16 long. These are the mid-rise wow boot cuts. Black, anything that is not skinny is doing very well. <laughs> So size 16 on those, those will be an $18. Either a women's mix or if I ever do a denim, just a straight up denim show. 16 is like an extra large, so as you can imagine, they um, they go pretty quick. Um, this is my first time finding like Lulu's like jeans, but they're camo. These are a size small. They were $1.79, which is why I grabbed them. If they were full price, I probably wouldn't have, but Lulu's does well for me in shows too, and they're camo. Um, and I have a lot of people that love camo in my shows. Yeah, you do, yeah. Not your shows. <laughs> They're like, where's all your camo? <laughs> Brittany, Brittany has the camo. Go to go to Brittany's shows. Yeah, I have like, um. I sold camo in my last show, a pair of joggers. Yeah, yeah, camo joggers, sweaters. I mean, there's a, if you can, if they find you, then uh, camo can do well. Um, okay, another $1.79. This was the one that I had to, I felt it and I'm like, that could either be, 
like somebody's trying to pretend to be a great brand or it is a great brand. <laughs> um, and it was, this is Spanx, Assets by Spanx, um, size medium. It was $1.79, but this is something that like you could easily. Spanx is always a pickup. It is, this is like so easy to pass on like when you're going through the racks, but anyways, that's another good solid. What does Spanx average sell for you guys? Like 25, 30, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Now it's like 25. 25, 30. So I'll probably start it. $25 yeah, I know. Spanx? Mm -hmm. Yes. People love Spanx and shows. Ooh, I forgot about these. These I did pay up for. We got some good Americans. Good Americans. Um, I know. Just wait. Uh, we're going to get some more bolos here in just a second. But um, these actually I found towards the end. These are the good waste crops in a size 1030. And they wanted 1050 for them, but I'm willing to pay that for good Americans because they, um, I mean, depending on the style, they usually go anywhere from 50 to 100. But um, even, even just 50 for these is still a great flip. So that'll end up being straight up listed um, for me. Uh, okay, next up, uh, next bag. I found a few new bolos too, you guys. I'll see if I can remember, remember where they are. Okay, these were just $1.79. It is spider, some spider leggings, also in kind of like a digital camo. They're a size women's large, $1.79. That was an easy pickup. Spider, if you're not familiar, is an outdoor brand. Um, I think they're usually just known for their jackets, but, um, this might just go into, just as a quick flip, into my $18 active wear show. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm. These are just another bread and butter for my active wear shows. Pure Lux Fabletics in a size, roughly a size medium to large. If the Fabletics tag is not there, then you just have to measure them. But purple is a color that sells for me like hotcakes. So this was an easy pickup for me. <clears throat> Okay, a new day. This is another just bread and butter, a little bit of like a lounge crop. I have some people that are like, do they just want anything and everything lounge? Just a new day, which is Target, but size medium. Those are just a lounge kind of crop going in the um, um, 18 show. Okay, next up, I did, um, I have a, I got a lot of shoes, but I initially just found these. Um, these are some Danskos. They, um, they wanted $12.99 for them, which I thought was pretty fair. Um, these are an animal print. I don't think I've seen an animal print dance go um, before. So comps were looking like, you know, anywhere from like 50 to 100, depending on the kind of dance go that you had. Um, but I just did quick comps on it, and that was like an easy, easy pickup for me. Um, what is the size? They're 42, size 42 on those. And they were in excellent condition, and of course I checked made sure that they didn't have like that dry rot. You know how like dance goes kind of, um, what you call it? Oh, they can rot really easily. Like you have to bend them, do the bend test. Um, okay, next up we have, ooh, we have some Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer Luxe Lettuce. This is actually like one of the, I haven't really found Lily Pulitzer a whole lot um, in thrift stores, but Lily Pulitzer has an, um, no, so it's like a, it's like a slight little animal print, I think. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and they have side pockets too. So this is their activewear line by Lily Pulitzer. Um, I will either put those in my 32 or just list those myself. So I'll just try them in my 32 first. Um, but you know, people love their Lily. They love their Lily. All right, these are a, another bread and butter. These are some, actually I might have gotten these for me to try on. These are just some Puma joggers, like jogger sweats, and yeah, I'll probably try those on for me, to be honest. <laughs> me and my black, my solid black. I love, love, love black. <laughs> okay, next up. I was wanting to sit, but here we are not sitting. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Next up we had, this is a, a piece that I paid up for. Um, I did run comps and it's looking like this should sell for around 50 to 70. This is the North Face, the, I think it was the Wind Wall, Wind Wall, women's size medium jacket. Um, I paid up uh, $15.99 for it. Um, 
but comps were consistently for like these women's jackets uh, were between 50 and 70. Um, so I picked it up. I'm not afraid to pay up for things. And it was in, you know, good condition too. So this one will get listed. Listed, straight up listed. Okay. This one, Chelsea, you'll be proud of me. This is a vintage, a vintage denim jacket. I actually saw like two other comps of this exact brand. It's just Moda International. Moda International, made in USA, size small. There's that tag. Um, That's a good one. People love denim jackets and vintage denim jackets, especially like 90s style. Um, this should. Yeah, I could sell it really quick for 32 or I I saw a lot of comps like between 50 and 75 too. So um, I paid 10 50 for it. So I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it's still like very summery fall. So I could get a quick flip in my 32. Um, is that what you think? I should do it for a quick flip? Well, I just remembered it's, it's a solid starting price. I feel like that's something that would get a fight going if you, if you ran it. I know. I know. I, I think I'm going to list it because I think it might, it, it'll probably sell pretty quick because a lot of vintage jackets do well. It's like in beautiful condition and it's like that perfect like medium wash. So, ooh, this is, okay, this is why I regret, like whenever I'm going through the large and the extra large and then I'm at the medium and then I'm like, should I go through the extra small and small? You should because sometimes they put things in there. <laughs> Even though I don't need extra small and small, sometimes they put things in there that are blatantly like a large and an extra large it's just um sized differently or if something's vanity sizing or if it's a uh free people piece and it's ginormous and it's still tagged as an extra small <laughs> this is free people beach free people beach which um uh, always does well for me free people beach it is tagged as an extra small but it is an yeah, oversized like one size fits all piece. i know so that'll go on my 32 what, what do they want for it um, 750, 750 for it. So that'll go on my 32. That should be a fairly, fairly quick flip. Uh oh, I dropped a white thing. I did vacuum in here earlier, so hopefully we're good. Um, okay, I think we're good. Hopefully, I don't see it. This is just a bread and butter piece. This is Chico's, Chico size one. Just a cute, like solid white. And I triple checked it, but I feel like I need to quadruple check it. Um, it has just a fun like crochet lace fringe detail here at the bottom and then it's off the shoulder. So I think I have a few buyers that want to, or, um, kind of like this style. So I think it'd be pretty quick for like an $18 show. Um, so we will be doing that. All right. More vintage. I thought this was too good. Uh, this is, um, Robert. Yay! Chelsea, Chelsea's the vintage, the, the vintage guru. So um, I do pick up vintage occasionally. You have a good eye for vintage. Thanks. This is Robert. Robert Scott. Um, they only wanted five forty nine for this, um, and I just loved the colors. It's like Christmas dreams. I know it's vintage, but it's like very like trendy, like this kind of like grandma. Oh yeah, grandpa sweater, Mister Rogers vibes. Right. I love it. It's just so good. So this one will get listed because it obviously needs a very specific buyer, but it's, um, it's actually kind of like a magenta blue and a green, but I figured fall and winter would be a good one, uh, for that. Okay. Next up. Ooh, we're getting into some of the shoes. I got some good shoes. Now, some of these shoes I did pay up for, but thinking, remember my average cost of good. Average cost of good was four eighty five, so I have to remember that. <laughs> um, I think this was just a bread and butter piece. It's like girl math, but reseller math. Exactly, reseller math. Um, this is a new tags, just a black bodysuit. I think it's a large or small. Actually, I might try this one on for me because I love bodysuits. It's perfect for the uh, whatchamadoogie, the fall winter. Um, this is just a boutique mango pop. So I actually might try that one on. If not, it'll just go in an $18 show. Okay. Moving on to some good, um, some good shoes. Okay. First up we have these actually, I'm surprised nobody grabbed these. They ended up getting all the way down. Oh, now I see why I missed this completely. Damn it. <laughs> 
Um, okay, well, I gotta return these. Um, they were Lucky Brand little booties for um, $1.79, but it's missing a zipper. No! I was like, I wonder why they got all the way to the color of the tag, because Brittany's an idiot, and she missed it. It has a zip, doesn't have a zipper, so. Oh, I don't know. I do have a shoe show later today. We'll see if somebody has the means to fix it. So we'll see if somebody wants it. It's a size 10 as like a TLC thing. And if not, then I will return those. This is in the return. The returns. Womp womp. Okay. Next up, we had some new. These are new without box. Vionics. Vionic shoes. These ones will get listed. They're very, um, I feel like very specific and he's a specific buyer. Um, but Bionics do pretty well. Um, usually like between 30 to 50, depending on the style. These are a size. Bionics. And I've actually had people request them in shows for me to run because yeah. people just love them. These were originally 10, $10. They are a size five. They are a tiny size, but believe it or not, I actually have a handful of buyers that are asking me to find fives and fives and fives and five and a halves. So whenever I, I know, I know. Um, so anyways, I grabbed those. They were new. They're like a red, what would you call this? It's kind of like a berry. It's like a croc, like embossed kind of upper on those, but they are like new without box condition, which was nice. Those are beautiful. All right. These I sold many times in the past. I knew exactly what they were when I saw them. These are the Steve Madden Troopa. Sherpa boots, I've sold these many a times and they always consistently go for like at least 40, 50 bucks. Um, nine and a half, women's size nine and a half from Steve Madden and we're coming up on perfect boot season. So these are, they wanted $14.99 for them but I was fine paying up for that. What am I doing with all my shoes? I'm putting them over here. Okay, shoes, I need to get shoes listed as soon as I can. Okay, next up we have some, oh, these are some Mark Fishers, and they are genuine suede upper. Um, these are very cute for just like the upcoming fall. Um, I did pay $14.99 for them, but I figured I could probably get about, um, probably about $35.40 uh, on the lower end, but I, of course, will pr price it a little bit higher. Um, but they're size eight, and if I try them on and I like them, I might keep them, because I'm typically like a seven and a half, eight. <laughs> This is the bad thing about being a reseller is uh, we uh, keep a lot of stuff or some of us keep a lot of stuff. Um, okay, next up. Okay, this one I had to text the girls and ask them about because I was so excited to see it and then I saw the flaws and I still picked it up because we have... There are flaws, so I'm gonna show that here in a second. Uh, Rick Owens, if you guys don't know this brand, it is an amazing, amazing designer. Uh, Rick Owens, I was shocked to find this. It was in the plus size section. Now, it does have holes, some little holes there, and then I think there were some holes through one of the sides, and then there's like a small stain on it. So, um, I did pay the asking price of $5.49 for it um, because Rick Owens pieces retail in the thousands of dollars. Um, and this is a cardigan. Um, I figured I would do it in like a TLC, but there's like a, I don't know, like a, either a show. Amber, what do you think? Cause you are like, absolutely. Do you think I should do it in like a flawed gems kind of show? Or do you think I should just list it as is? I think you should list it or send it a thread up. Thread up, even with the holes? Hell yeah. You can list that at so there's the inside tag made in Italy and it is a hundred percent new wool on that. So, um, there we go. Made in Italy, Rick Owens. So this one will be listed slash 
might be going to thread up for them to list in their new premium, premium label stuff. So, uh, what do I call it? Tags, tags. What are they? Shipping labels. Okay. Next up. Ooh, I actually found. Really quick, what? I just looked up Rick Owens on Thread Up. Yeah. So Ooh. So, and then they're listing a wool cardigan for four hundred and six dollars. But how do you know if they're flawed? They have to tell people when it's flawed. Yeah, but I don't think they changed the price. But like, how like how can people see in a listing if something's flawed? It has a condition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll try it. Um, okay. Well, I mean, four hundred. Shoot. Like, I mean, even if somebody bought it for like a hundred, that's still a great payout too. Um, okay, I actually got two of these. I don't know if they're next to each other in this bag, but um, I did pay asking price, which was $5.49, but these are Sweaty Betty, size extra large um, black sweaters, and Sweaty Betty is like an active wear athleisure brand, um, so those are a great size and a great brand. Um, so those will go probably in my 32 um, just because they're a little bit more athleisure. But there's one. Uh, there's another one in here. I just don't. It's not next to the other one. Ooh, this is another good one. I kind of was like, should I go through the blouses? So I did, and I found not one, but I ended up finding two Eileen Fisher sweaters. Um, extra large. You know you're thrifting hardcore when you take time to go through the blouses. I know. <laughs> Once you get through the blouses, you're like, should I? I just kept finding so many gems in each section. I'm like, who donated this? Because I bet if I go to each section, I'm going to find some gems. And I'm like, I do that too, Brittany. Like, if I'm finding gold in the other sections, I'm like, you know, this person probably had some good tops that they donated to. So I'll go to that size in the blouses. Exactly. I'm going to move this phone. Like, I have like a little phone stand right here. Um, I'm actually going to put you guys over here. So. You're actually a little bit more in line with um, my iPad. Maybe people will hear you a little bit better. I don't know if they've been able to hear you very well, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, so Eileen Fisher, um, another great brand. However, a lot of people don't know about them in shows. So um, I usually list my Eileen Fisher, but I might try her just in my $32 show just as like a quick flip. Um, but we are... 100% organic cotton. 32 is still a freaking steal of a deal. Um, and uh, 649 is what they asked for this one. I think the other one they wanted 549, but classic Eileen Fisher uh, capsule wardrobe. This is like a cream and a black kind of abstract stripe. So I might just try that in my 32 for a quick flip. Um, this is something that I believe. Um, Let's see, that I did, yeah, I paid up for this one just because of the piece. So this is $8.49 on this one. It's a Rachel Zoe, but a really, really cute one button blazer with a. That's adorable. Isn't this cute? It's very trendy. People love blazers. It is a category that is very uh, trendy right now, or it's very hot. People are loving blazers. At least they have for like what the last like year or two as well. Um, but anyways, I'll put that in my $32 show. Um, it is a fantastic piece and I think it's a linen too. Size small and I think it was a linen blend. Yeah. 55% linen on that one. So Rachel Zoe also retails for a lot of money as well. Okay. This is a bread and butter. Knox Rose is something that sells very well in shows. For me and the girls as well. $1.79 on that one. This is an extra large blue. Um, has a little bit of a wider sleeve. That one is a bread and butter for a show. Um, oh, here's that other Eileen Fisher. This is the first one that I found actually. So $5.49 and it's also an extra large and it is another like just um, oh, what you call it? Like a monochromatic. It is a striped and then um sweater uh and then this one had a 70 percent organic cotton 20 nylon and 10 percent silk i will probably just uh double check like these styles and if any of them are going for more i might just list them but i might it's a possibility that i might just put them in my 32 dollar for a quick flip but um 
I might just end up listing those. Okay, this piece, I actually found this in a different color too. I actually found this in a white as well. I picked it up because it was $1.79 and um, it's a very flattering piece. It's a blue and it's a 1X. So um, I don't think the brand is anything worth noting. It's a 1X um, from Allie Miles. Allie Miles, 59 poly, 40 ram, 1% spandex, but has some chunky buttons, has a little bit of a, there's like a very, very light um, uh, shark bite hem on it. That's blue. It is a 1X on that, which 1Xs do well in shows. Anything more than a 1X usually doesn't do well. Um, but I also found that in white. So that could potentially be a selling point in a show. Um, you know, people like, if they like the style, then they like it in different colors too. All right, this is uh, a pickup. It was $1.79. I would not have paid full price for that, $15.49. It was $1.79, it was the color. It's just Forever 21, size small. And it is a, um, like a like a wool trench. I think it's faux. I don't think there's any wool in here. I can't remember, to be honest. I don't even know if I checked. 96, let's see, Forever 21. I wouldn't expect it to be anything crazy. But occasionally, there are some where they do put um, other materials in. Let's see, the 96 poly, three round and 1% spandex. Anyways, just a gray coat. Um, that will be a um, probably an $18 once it comes. Um, what am I saying? Fall, winter. This is why I would always try to edit my stuff because I would have these brain farts that uh, I'd buffer for a little bit, but we'll just uh, roll with it. <laughs> Um, this is another $1.79 coat. Coats are, I think everybody as a reseller knows this, but coats always fetch more money. Um, this is just an old navy olive green, kind of like a cargo style women's size large. Um, that one will be an easy flip. I mean, 18 bucks would probably still be a steal for that for somebody. Um, but if I were to list it, I'd probably just start it at like 25. So 18 bucks would be a fine flip for it. I got it for $1.79. Um, this one, I think I paid full price because they didn't, they marked it down. Usually this Goodwill marks up Columbia like out the ass. Like normally they're like 25, $30 for Columbia. But this one they marked down. Maybe I missed a flaw or something, but it's just a size medium, size men's, size men's. Men's medium. <laughs> um, uh, it's just like a red, gray, full zip windbreaker jacket. Um, I don't think I missed the flaw, but anyways, um, that one is Columbia. I don't know. I might put that in my $32 one, um, but I would expect like if I were to list it to end up getting 25 to 35 on it. Um, that's kind of where my, most of my Columbia stuff ranges from. Did you even pick up Columbia, you guys? I feel like I'm the only one that seems to like pick up Columbia. Maybe just because it's like an outdoor brand, but, um. Yeah, I don't like source it, but if I find, like if it comes to me, I'll sell it. Yeah, true. Um, this is a white denim jacket. Um, I have a few buyers that are always looking for denim jackets. And they've been, um, I've had a few specifically asking for white denim. So I did go ahead and pay up for this, $8.49. Um, and I will put this on my $32 show um, because it is a denim gap. It's a newer tag and um, it's in beautiful condition too. So that I grabbed. We're getting close to the end. 48 minutes. We have a haul. This is stuff that I'm holding for people for shows and the very few bins of inventory that I have listed <laughs> back here in the back. Um, okay, this is like my shipping room. And we're renovating the house. This is why the door doesn't have um, its frame, because we're renovating. And uh, it's one of the, the small things left to do, but you know, you still are yet to do it. Um, okay, $1.79 on some jeans. I think we're getting into a lot of the jeans. You guys, I found like a really awesome pair too um, in here. I don't know where it is. It might be towards the bottom, but I was stoked. Um, okay, these are a classic, classic boot cut, size 10, which is a 30, size 10s do well for me. Um, I would probably expect these to sell for like, if I were to list it, just for like 25. So I'd probably put them in an $18 show just for a quick flip. Um, but of course, Levi's, everybody knows Levi's are a classic and these are the classic boot cuts. So anything that's not a skinny usually sells very quickly for me. Um, I was surprised to see these um, on blue tag. I was surprised nobody grabbed them. These are new tag lucky brand. 
Lucky Brand, and they're a size 10, 30 on these as well. Um, these are the mid, these are the sweet mid-rise straights, and they feel like new without tag condition too. And they have like the like the super crispy uh, Lucky Brand tag. So I don't pick up old women's Lucky Brand, like the old Lucky Brand tag, because it just doesn't move. But if it's like new, I'll get it. Um, these I'll probably go to my thirty-two dollar show. Um, and then probably list them if they don't sell within a few weeks. Um, but yeah, they're like new without tag condition. I know they retail for 80 to 100 depending on the style. Um, another blue tag. I love jeans. Like another very substantial category um, where you can ease. I feel like 25 is like the bread and butter typically for a lot of jeans. But, you know, 25 to 50 is like awesome. Like you usually get that like per pop. So, um, not your daughter's jeans, another bread and butter for me, size 12. And these are the, I don't know what the style is on these lift and tuck technology. I don't know what the style is, but they usually say the style. Am I blind? It probably got removed. Anyways, size 12, regardless, 12 or 31 has some light distressing. And, um, I think they're like ankle length, but dollar 79, this will go in my um, ooh, I don't know, because uh, not your daughter's jeans, depending on the style, can be um, a bread and butter. So sometimes 25 to 35. I don't know. Amber, what do you think? 32 or an 18? Okay, that's what I was thinking, but I wanted to. Oh, here we go. Amber, you're going to shit a brick. <laughs> I. A Goldie? Do you know what they are? Are they redone? These are the Rag and Bone Miramar. Oh. They, they like these like, no. are a bolo, absolute yeah. bolo. These things are selling for over $100 still on the resale market. Don't you have a pair of those? Like, have you listed them yet? Yeah, they sold the next day that I listed them. I actually don't think I listed them. I think I put them in a show. I was going to list them, and it was when I was doing another premium designer show. And I'm pretty sure I sold them still for like a steal of a deal at like 60 or something. And somebody was like, yes, please give it to me. So... Anyways, I was very happy to pay $7.49 for them. Um, yes, please. These, if you guys see these, this is like the one like rag and bone thing that's like popping off lately. They're jeans, but they're like sweatpant jeans, um, size medium. Um, I need to get these listed tomorrow. <laughs> I should have had them listed yesterday kind of thing. These will sell pretty quickly. Um, anyways, $7.49. I was so happy to see those. I'll have to throw, I don't know if I'm going to get comps on this, on this video because that would mean I need to edit. <laughs> um, but um, I think I might create some like Instagram reels with it when I have some time. Um, so you guys, if, you don't, if you're not following me, I am on Instagram now. I'm not the best at it, <laughs> but I'm trying. Um, okay. Another bread and butter. Boop, boop, boop. $1.79. We've got some Old Navy flares. These are size 12. These are the higher high rise flares. Like I was saying, anything without a straight leg is doing well for me. There is a V-back um, and uh, size 12. I'll look up this exact style. Some styles actually do pretty well. Um, like they still hold like um, a pretty high retail, but I'll probably end up putting them in my 18 just to sell it quick. But if I were to list it, I think it could still easily garner like 25, 20, 25. Um, okay, more blue tag. You guys, blue tag like in the jeans. Like nobody looks in the jeans where I'm at. Um, okay, not your daughter's jeans, size 14, Maryland Straits. Another one, 32, dark wash, straight leg, great size. Um, another one, blue tag. I did grab these. These are going to be in my 18. Um, Mid-rise skinnies. I know they are skinnies. They kind of go against what I was saying, but they're size 8, and 8's like, it's hard for me to keep 8, 10's, and 12's in stock. They go... They fly like hotcakes. So I'm just going to put that in the 18. It is a skinny leg, but I don't foresee having an issue selling that. Um, okay, these I did pay up for. Can you guess what these are from afar, Amber? Are they the free people flares? Yes, good job. <laughs> um, so we the free. I did pay $15.49 for them, but um, they yeah, resell. Free people These are black. They have a fringe here at the bottom too. Size 28, so they're equivalent to a six. Um, I'm, I'm gonna um, obviously list those because of the price that I paid up for them. But free yeah. people, free people jeans do very well for me. 
and the flares. I was like, ooh. Um, okay, another bread and butter jean we have. Oh, I picked these up on the style because I like the color block. Um, Universal thread. These are a 12 or 31 inch waist. They're high rise skinnies, but they have like a fun color block there on the knees. Oh my gosh, Chelsea, it was so funny. Now that you have a new iPad and you just got back on screen, it went, whoosh, it like zoomed in like really quickly on you. It was funny. That's so weird. I know. Um, that will be in an 18, 18 Zalahala. Getting all the jeans. Oh, these were a lot of fun too. These were um, just Susan Graver, which I'm pretty sure is just a QVC. But I do have a lot of. Um, QVC brands also do well for me in shows. QVC does do well in shows. Um, and these are a crop. They're still obviously very summery, so I got to get these uh, up in a show soon. They're 14 petite, but I do have a few buyers that I'm pretty sure would kind of eat those up. Um, so those will go in an 18 and hopefully sell pretty quickly. Um, okay. Next up, we have um, more Old Navy, another blue tag, $1.79, um, 12 longs, and these are a slim straight, mid-rise slim straights, so more $18 jeans, um, let's see, $18.22, this brand can sometimes, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't have like the best sell-through rate but it is sold, um, I think it's sold at both Nordstrom and Revolve now, I could be wrong. Um, 12, size 12, 18, 22, that does have a pretty high res uh, retail price and the resale is okay. Um, I'll probably put them in, I'll, I'll double check the style on this one and it'll probably end up being in my 18, so I'll just put it in the 18 anyway, but it was $1.79 on those. Some more, these I triple check, but I might need to quadruple check them. These are white denim, which people love white denim. Um, H&M size 12, and these are like a cargo, like mom jean style. H&M denim does well for me too. They were $1.79, um, and I didn't see any, any flaws with them, believe it or not, so um, that should be um, pretty quick for just 18. I want to sell it pretty quick. So um, let's see, one more in the bag. These were just some American Eagle blue tag. These are some mom jeans, mom jeans from American Eagle. Of course, she doesn't know what it looks like. These are a destroyed. Um, these ones might end up getting listed because um, the mom jeans usually do better listed from American Eagle. They are a size eight and they are the, how do you say this? Stritch, rigid, strigid, rigid, strigid. Have you guys seen that yet in the new American Eagle? <laughs> um, so I'll probably try them just in an 18 for a quick flip, but if not, I'll get them listed. Um, I'll probably start them like at 28 or something like that, 25, 28, and then send out offers. Okay. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you guys like this on YouTube. Uh, so we always do this. So they're working right now. We always like whoever has the haul, like whoever's getting their work done will just be the entertainment for the others. <laughs> Okay. I mean, who doesn't love a haul? I know, right? You have to love a haul if you're a reseller. Okay, going into, I think a lot of this might be some active wear in this, this bag. Um, I got some, I did pay uh, the asking price of $5.49 for these. These were some Soma, which is an awesome brand. Soma leggings. These are, these are the slimming leggings size extra large. So great size, great brand. Those, I might look those up. Um, they might be the $32 start, but I'll double check those. Um, let's see here. We, oh, this is a new bolo, you guys. Have you heard of this before? I looked it up and it is such a good brand. Um, like 70, 80, 90, hundred dollars. And it's selling a lot um, on both Posh and eBay. It's called Wool X. Wool X. It is McKenna Caprice. Um, a merino wool in here. And a lot of like, Probably. That's what I thought. I was like, is this like an, uh, not like a knockoff of smart wool? Anyways, you would think this is very, like you could easily pass this up in a rack, but I felt it and I'm like, Ooh, this kind of feels nice. And then I saw it and I looked it up and sure enough, um, re the resale market is amazing on these. So I did pay the seven, seven forty nine asking for those. These will be listed, um, because those are a new bolo. We love a bolo. Okay. 
Next up, we have, these are just some offline by Airy, just a classic for a um, activewear show. These are an extra large. Those will go in my $18 activewear. Quick flip, they were a blue tag. Um, we got some green, actually I think I got these for me. Yep, size small. Yeah, I did pay full price for these, but I wanted them. So you get, I love green. I need more activewear too. So these are just old navy. I got them for me, so whatever. That doesn't count. <laughs> um, uh, what do we have? Nike, Nike Extra Large. They usually price Nike up, yeah, here. They wanted $12.99 for these originally. Um, they price up Nike like crazy at my Goodwill. Um, usually the lower end, they're like asking 13 and can go all the way up to like 25. But these are just a, you know, a bread and butter. Um, I'll put these in my $18 activewear. Um, they're an extra large. So, um, oh, my nose itches. I'll do this off camera. Oh, itchy nose. Um, but, um, uh, just some bread and butter does pretty well for me. Oh, my nose. See, this is what sucks sometimes too. <laughs> about doing like raw non-edited stuff because I can't edit this oh I mean I could but um I might just leave it in <laughs> it's real life right it's real life real life okay these are some camo like I was saying I have a few people that are obsessed with camo these are fabletics uh 549 on those um and they are just some uh I think they were a large extra large I think they were a large large fabletics camo this will be a quick flip in my $18 activewear show. Um, uh, $1.79, Old Navy, activewear, black leggings, $18 activewear show. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, these ones I also got for me. As you can tell, I like activewear. These are just a Target. I actually have these. I'm pretty sure I got a similar pair from Amber before, but in black. So anyways, it's like a compression legging. Got those for me. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of this, I think, is my activewear section. Ooh, this one, Banana Republic. I think it's a men's extra large. Um, it's a newer tag, and uh, it has a great, ma great material makeup. Hey, Macy. Hello. Um, we're still in the YouTube haul, so. Hey, Macy. <laughs> FaceTime. Uh, this is 75% silk, 20 cotton, and 5% cashmere. It's just a Banana Republic like men's sweater. So, but a great material makeup and it was $1.79. And because of the material makeup and it's a newer tag, I'll probably put it in my $32 show. How was the bins? Good. Did you? Uh, I stuff for two hours. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm jealous. I wish I had bins nearby. Chelsea and Macy are uh, lucky. Their bins are so quick. And nearby um these are just a bread and butter uh under armor these are the under armor storm sweatpants i'll just throw those in my 18 dollar activewear show they have like a little flare kind of leg at the bottom um oh shoot i meant to look these up whoops <laughs> um do you guys know this off the top of your head my um my phone was acting weird does this logo look familiar to you i meant to look these up Where's Amber? Amber, could you look? I don't know. If she's. Can you do like a screenshot and Google photo it for me really quick? Hold on. Let us see. Because like it's not in the like material tag either. Okay, I'm looking it up right now. Okay, thank you. This is what we usually do too, especially if we do like an unboxing. I meant to look this up, but I guess I forgot to and it stayed in my cart. But it felt really nice. Um, it was $5.49. So if, it does, if it's not good, then I'll return it. But. It feels nice, so I, I have hopes, high hopes for for it. Second skin? I have no idea. It's going for like 20 bucks on eBay. What is it? It's the brand Second Skin. Second Skin? I, how did you, how does that? I figured it was like a W-A. Amber, have you seen that before? I know you were out of the, out of the shot. No. I don't know. I would assume so, it's like... Oh yeah, like like this. Yeah. Huh. It looks exactly the same. It's second skin. Second skin. Okay, I'll look it up. Um, check comps on uh, Poshmark too. It feels really nice. So, 
Um, we'll see, maybe I'll just throw it in my $18. Um, this is another bread and butter for my activewear. Just some Old Navy's active pants. I do activewear shows all the time, so. Um, we got some Cozy Core, <laughs> Old Navy, size medium, $1.79. That is some activewear, 18. This is a, um, a cute piece for the fall. American Eagle, size large. It's a flannel, it's like a crop flannel hoodie, which always does well. Um, if I were to list it, it should easily go for like 25. So um, I'll probably just throw it at my 18 for now. Um, but people love, of course, the flannels come fall. Uh, next up we have, oh, this is the other Sweaty Betty extra large uh, sweater that I got. I found two of them next to each other and they feel like they're new without tag condition. So that was nice. Um, I got a Lucky Brand top. Um, I do have a few buyers that love Lucky Brand and they're like a large extra large. So I went ahead and picked that up. It's white, blue, kind of gives like almost like a bandana vibe to it. Um, so that'll be 18, right? Um, this is Fila Sport running size large. I do have a few runners in my activewear shows. So figured that could be a good uh, bread and butter for that. Um, this was, I thought was just really cute. Uh, White House Black Market size small. It's a floral sheer top with a like tiered sleeve. Um, it's very romantic and sheer is very in right now. So I just gonna put that in my $18 start show. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure this was vintage. I tried looking it up, but I, uh, my connection wasn't the best, but, um, I'll show you. This is a, it's definitely a fall colorway. Um, and the tag says Navigar Cashmere. So I think this is not English spelling but I'm pretty sure it's like a designer sweater brand. It might not be vintage, it might just be that. But my another indication is how the tag is. I have a lot of like designers that have like inside tags like that. Um, it is 60% wool, 20% polyamide, and 10% cashmere, and 10% angora. So amazing materials made in Navigar UE. What is UE? Oh, the United um, Emirates, right? Emirates, Emirates, how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Italy. Anyways, regardless, we have cashmere, we have wool, and we have angora. I did pay the full price of $6.49 for it, even though my uh, connection wasn't the best, but um, I figured I would list that one, probably starting it, well, without doing the comps on it. What was this? Oh, this is also just the branding on it too. So little things like that. And it was in beautiful. I did like check for holes in it, but people will still buy cashmere with holes in it. And that literally happened in my other show. I was doing a $32 show and I had, um, I think it was a Club Monaco cashmere sweater and it had a hole. I'm like, ah, oh, dang. Well, I, I'm like, I'll just run it for $5. If you guys want to fix it, you can fix it. Well, it got bid up to $29. People wanted it. So cashmere with holes sells. Uh, this is a bread and butter activewear, just a V. It's a size extra large for $1.79. So that one is an easy activewear bread and butter for my show. We have Kalia, another bread and butter. So it's kind of hard to show, just Kalia. Size medium. Wait, is there a mark on that or is that just the... No, that's just the, the thing. Anyways, size medium on those. More bread and butter activewear. Um, oh, this is the other one. I had a, a, a blue one just like this, but it's a size 1X. Has some chunky buttons on it. It was $1.79. Um, and it is just a, kind of like a, I don't know. It's like a crinkle fabric. It's not seersucker, but it's like a crinkle fabric. What do you guys call that? I always just call it crinkle. I can never, <laughs> I never know what, what. Yeah, I just say textured, textured fabric. Oh, textured works. Yeah. Uh, Banana Republic Extra Large. This was poly rayon and spandex, but um, uh, I think this one's a women's extra large. So that one was just a $18. Oh, wait, is there something in the back? Or is that just the way the fabric is? I can't tell from this lighting. I think it's the way the fabric is. But anyways, that one is a, uh, what am I saying? Bread and butter for a show. This is American Eagle, another bread and butter extra large. 
sponge. This is super cute, little wrap style. It's like a cream and like lavender floral. People love purple. Um, and then it has a big billowing sleeve, which I think is always cute. I love me a statement sleeve. Um, so that one is another staple. And then we got some flannels. Um, Woolrich XXL. Woolrich is always a great pickup for me. This is a blue flannel. Mm -mm -mm. The one is six forty nine for it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I can put that in my thirty two dollar one. Woolrich is a brand that I think a lot of people know. Woolrich as a great uh, brand. Um, Old Navy Extra Large, another fun flannel that I know will sell well. I love flannels too, so I gotta try it on. <laughs> Macy, I'm wearing the pants that I bought from you when you were talking about it in your show. <laughs> I love them. Um, anyways, flannel, size extra large. That will be probably put my $18 show, but flannels sell like hotcakes. Um, yeah, perfect. Yeah, very, it doesn't clash at all. <laughs> um, okay, I got some more bags. I got more shoes, more bags, and I got a few accessories. My accessories are already falling out, so I'll show those. Um, I got, um, I'm pretty sure three. I think somebody just kind of gave up their um, Vera Bradley like little mini purse collection. They were $4.99 each, I think. Um, anyways, uh, Vera Bradley still does pretty well. I didn't know if I wanted to put it in like a bundle of three or not. Um, but I will, uh, I'll probably put it in my 32, maybe just for all three of them, or we might do an auction. I don't know. We'll see. I might do a list with me and then just run it as an auction. We'll put it in the 32 for now. Anyways, Vera Bradley bags. Then we had some Lulu's. Um, these are like a new without tag condition. They're like a black and white, like snake skin, faux snake skin. Um, they're seven and a half. And they still have the ticker, uh, the ticker, the sticker, the sticker on the bottom. Um, and uh, anyways, I figured these could easily go for like 25 if I were to list them. Um, so I, those actually might go on my shoe show later today. Um, and then we also had another bag that was $1.79. Um, I just like the style of it. And I can't remember if it was leather or not. It might have been just faux leather. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's just faux leather, but I thought it was a cute, like, neutral color. Um, it had the three zippers on it, and for $1.79, I thought it was good. The brand on it is Stone & Co., and I like, like, the wash to it. So, Stone & Co. on that one. I have one more small bag of clothes. Oh, wait. And I have another thing in here. <laughs> this is a wallet. I actually got this wallet for me because my wallet broke. And, like, my cards, like, it just doesn't zip, so... Whatever, you know, thrift store, thrift store buy. I think it was like three bucks, three, four bucks for my, my new wallet. Um, okay, blue tag, more jeans, $1.79, cut from the cloth size eight. Some slim legs on those. Those will be, um, I don't know, those might just go in my 18s because of the leg style. Uh, we had some old navy, some more blue tag, $1.79. Old navy, there are 10 high rise slouchy tapers. Those will be. Um, in my 18, that's just a, like something to take off of a lint roller. Um, $18 easy flip for my show for jeans. And then let's see. Oh, I just thought these were cool. They were blue tag. They're Paxson corduroys, button fly. I think they're, um, I don't think they're exposed. Yeah, not an exposed button one, but high rise, like purple corduroys, which I thought would be fun for the, uh, the fall and their size. What size are you? I don't, did it say the size? Mm, I don't know. They're a size six, 20, high rise straight legs. So purple is very in. It's been in like the last year, year and a half or so. Um, all right, lastly, we have one more bag and then we're almost done. And I, uh, there might be the best for last. Well, it might not be the best, best. I think I had some other things that were pretty equivalent, but anyways, more shoes. We got some Bionics for 10. These are like a snake skin, like little uh, sneaker with a um, like faux suede detail there on the side. Those are a size seven and a half on those, more Vionics. Um, 
we had some Dr. Shoals, which actually do really well. Um, they wanted $7.99 for them, and I thought that was fine. They're also my size, so if they uh, don't sell them for what I want, then I might just keep them. Um, oh, wait. No, they're not my size. Well, I was reading the UK size. These are definitely not my size. These are a US size 10, um, but I actually think I have a buyer for these, so I think these actually might sell uh, very quickly. Okay. Let's see here. We'll do the best shoes for last, in my opinion. One more, and then I'll show the best shoes for last. Okay, Steve Madden, these were $1.79. These were just an animal print, like little slip-on sneaker. I need to clean up the bottoms just a little bit, but. This was like some Rockies I've just sold recently. Really? Did, what, yeah. um, they were the they animal? They're, they're not knit, they're kind of like a faux, faux suede oh, maybe? Okay. Oh, yeah, cute. fabric upper, they're size 10. And then last but not least, I did pay up for these, but remember, my average cost of good per item was $4.85. So across the entire the entire haul. Um, but uh, I found some free people, like chunk -a dunk like super fun heels. They have like this woven upper and I uh, check comps and they're selling for 90, 100, 120. Um, and anyways, they are in wow. at great condition. They still have like this. Are amazing. Aren't they cool? Um, they did want 30, I think for him. Yeah, they did want 30, but I knew it would average, it would buff out with the average cost of goods. So uh, anyways, even 30, I mean, if I were to just put it in my spreadsheet as 30 is still like a great profit. So these are in like new condition too, which is amazing. So I'll probably, I'll probably advertise them as that as well. So anyways, that was my haul. Macy, I know you only caught the last like 15% of that, but, uh, <laughs> you'll get to watch it later. Um, anyways, thank you guys. Um, YouTube, thank you YouTube for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. If you like these kind of raw, unedited <laughs> the riff hauls. Um, I can do them a lot more if I am just raw and honest. I'm surprised the dogs didn't bark at all. So knock on wood. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will uh, see you in the next one. Bye.